Morning guys, um, I just wanted to show you how to um, use Launch4j um, to create an exe file. So I've got my project open here. This isn't the full project, this is just a bit of code that I wrote to test it, but it follows most of the, the project. It just doesn't have the, the formulas in it to work out the, um, the volumes. Um, so I've got my main class here. Um, which links to menu.menu. Um, .menu. So this is the menu class here. And then there's a method in there called menu. Um, there's a menu option which um, runs a method depending on the input. So it run, either run cuboid.input cuboid or cylinder.input cylinder, which is these ones. Um, Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is to build our project. So you can do that by right clicking on it and going to clean and build, or you can go to run, oops, uh, and clean and build project. Okay, and then press that. And then if we go to here, I'm just going to copy this, <clears throat> and then paste that in here. Uh, so probably to show you actually, we've got a new folder called dist or distribution. So here we've got the jar file, which is exactly what we need. And then the next thing we're going to do is open launch for J. And then there's a few bits in here that we need to fill out. Okay, so the output file is going to be where you want your uh, exe to be when it's finished compiling. So I've got this one here already. I'm going to overwrite that. The jar file is what we've just created in the distribution folder. So if we go here, it's the jar file there. You can add in an icon if you want. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So you can add in an icon if you want. Um, you don't have to. Um, we've got the class path. Actually, we can leave that, I think. Um, we've got a header, just change that to console. Um, we need to add in the JRE. So my JRE is in C drive. So I'll go to C drive, program files, Java, and that's my JRE folder here. So I'm just going to double click this one and then copy the file location like that, paste that in there. And then if we click on the cog icon, um, I'm going to call my file name poolcalculator.xml. So again, I've already got that. So I'm going to save over it. And you can see here at the bottom that when you click OK on here, it says successfully created. So if we go back to our project folder, we've got the pool calculator created at 8.54. It's just turned 8.55. So when you run that, um, it will run your program. Okay, so you can see there what are different things that you can do.